Hey, Perry here uh, for a little product comparison. Today we are comparing the regular 87A, Shure 87A, which is a condenser microphone, to the Beta Shure uh, 87A. So these are both condensers. This is obviously the beta version, so it's a little upgraded. Not exactly sure what they do internally to make those upgrades, but uh, it's a little more expensive, different finish. Um, but uh, check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. I'd say this, uh, the, the beta is a little fuller. These, uh, all, by the way, all these settings are identical, so they're just, and they're just coming through flat in my mixer and flat through my speakers. So you can hear check one, two, check one, two. These are coming through flat in my speakers. I'd say this, this has a little bit more, maybe more low end. Check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two, yeah. Definitely has a little, the, the regular 87A has a little bit more low end. This has more crispy, check one, two, in the high registers. One, two, check one, two, in the, and it's, it's, this one's less full in the higher registers. Check one, two, just a little bit more, more, more low end, so. But it's still a very crisp uh, microphone. Um, I would say just after um, playing around with these condensers, uh, vocal live mics, that um, you probably will find that they do feedback, especially in smaller confined spaces, a lot easier. So I, I would say, you know, my recommendation would be you know, use these uh, microphones because they sound great, but use them when you when you think you might not have as much volume. It's a little bit difficult for my band um, because we practice with, you know, you can see, uh, you know, four by twelves and, uh, you know, two amps. Um, that's kind of our general practice uh, setup with the, you know, the big old vintage stuff and uh, they do sound good and you can get it to sound great over over your volume but you have to do some tweaking with the EQ and a little compression which is one of the reasons why um, I love this um, QSC touch mix 8 because there's a feedback eliminator built right into it so as you turn up you put on this feedback wizard and you turn up the volume and it starts cutting the it has eight points where it cuts uh, very specific frequencies uh, in, in order to eliminate feedback so that's great um, but anyway this is about the 87A's and again they both sound very very similar and very good very clear very crisp um, I'd say this has a little bit more low end and a little less definition in the high end makes it, so if you just go check, check, one, two, check, check, one, two, you can kind of hear there's a little bit more definition in the, in the mid to highs on this one. But uh, for the price, if you want a condenser mic for your practice or live situation, this is a great option. Now, I, I've seen that on some uh, Sure sites that they're not carrying them any, anymore, but you still can get these um, uh, 87As, uh, but they might be discontinued. Uh, that's what I've heard. So that would be a review and a comparison. Hope that helps. Rock on. Little update here. Um, my band Silver Seed, we practiced and we used I used the Beta 87A and the uh, my partner Charlie uh, used the, the 87A and he found it to be 
a little bit more high endy, um, which is good for his vocal because uh, he usually does a lot of the high end harmony parts. So he actually felt like the microphone, the 87A was more suited to his voice, which is interesting um, because sometimes price uh, and build doesn't really matter. Uh, if it suits your voice, you know, you could uh, use a, a really cheap microphone if it makes your voice sound the way you want it to sound. So, you know, try the, I guess the moral of the story is try different mics, no matter what the price tag. And if it works for you and it sounds good for you, then, then use it. Um, so between the beta, beta 87A and the 87A, I prefer the beta and my partner, Charlie, per, uh, prefers the 87A. So, um, you know, if you do want to get into a condenser uh, for your rehearsal space or for your live shows, um, definitely check out both uh, microphones before you uh, decide on one because one could definitely be better for your voice or the other. So, hope that helps. Rock on!